My name is Kyneton, the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue with part 19, no, part 20, and we are going to be talking about inserting a new post. The procedure is the same like inserting a new user. So the first thing we want to do is to go to the data.sql file because we are going to be changing the the, 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 the automatically generated um, a foreign key to a, a foreign key we can manage. So we are trying to insert a new post, change the user ID to user ID that the system does not understand. So say user ID everything underscore, don't use any don't use camel case or upper case, just use everything lowercase user ID and just save it. And the next thing we want to do is to go to the post model and add a new field named post ID. So I'm going to go to post model here and I'm going to add a new field named post ID private uh, integer post ID, exactly the same name as the one we added in the data.sql file. We add getters and setters for this new, add getters and setters for this new, new, for this new field we added right now. So just go to source and say generate getters and setters using fields. So we, hmm, no, can't be. So I'm going to right click, go to source and say generate getters and setters. Generate getters and setters only. And just select it and say generate, okay? All right, so we have the getters and setters generated. The next thing is, in the join column, change the post ID, post underscore ID to post ID for the join column. So where is the join column? Oh. So I think we are mixing up things. We are talking about posts. In the post model, add a new field called user ID, not post ID. So I'm going to correct this. So add a new field called user ID. Add a new field called user ID and not post ID. So just change this post ID to user ID. User ID. User ID. So change this one to user ID. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think we have, so this is gonna be get user ID and this one is going to be set user ID, all right? All right, so hopefully everything is fine. So user ID, get user ID, return user ID, set user ID, uh, everything is okay. All right, so we I check my data.sql file, so user ID as well. So add the update, updatable and insertable attributes and set these to false in the join column. In the join column here, I'm going to just say insertable equal to false, updatable equal to false as well. Okay, at the end, you have this. You have, this is what you have. Okay, so, all right, so I think everything is fine. And then we can now try to, to add the method in the controller, in the, in the, in the post controller, in the post controller. So let's go to the post controller and add the method. Of course, we also need to add the method in the service as well. So I'm going to say add get mapping. So add post mapping. And we are going to slash posts slash add new. And we are going to write the method public void. When we add a new post, it's going to return void. Uh, public void. Uh, add new post. Sorry, add post is okay. And this comes from the request body, okay? Post, post, okay? So, so at this point, you simply call the service to 
to add it. So you say post service dot dot add post and give it the post to add. So now we've not written this method in the service and now we are going to write it. So put the mouse there and simply say create method add post. And when it comes here, so call the save method on the repository to add it. So you say post repose three dots dot save. So when you say dot save, uh, you give it the post. Posts we want to save. All right. All right. So this is about adding a new post. So it's time for us to test it. Uh, let's test it to see how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Um, so let me start by running the application. Um, so let's take this. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to try to insert a new a new post into into the post repository. So this this the, what we went through in 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 parts nineteen and twenty is something that. Many programmers have found so so difficult, but I figured out a way. It took me several days to actually be able to figure out how to present it in a very easy manner. So if we now go to H2 database and we try to assess, of course we are going to reconnect again. So so we have three posts at this time. So let's let's go to add a new post. So we have posts. And post add new, and the post we are going to add is this kind on the genus, or uh, the user is user two, and the post ID is four. Okay, so I'm going to send. At this time, everything went fine. It inserted. So if I go back and and run it and run this again, we can say, oh, it's inserted user ID. No, this is rubbish. Okay, so let's try to correct this error. User ID, no. So that is a problem. So let's see. User ID, two. Okay, post date. So let's go to solve this. So it's going to be coming from somewhere here. Join column, user ID, insertable, equal to false, updatable is equal to false. So you can see this dot user ID is equal to, so you can see where we have the mistake here. So we have set user ID and here we have post ID. So it's actually user ID. Okay. All right. So let's just rerun it again and make sure everything is working. So let's brace up for the next part, which is updates, because we are going to be moving to 21 to 28, and that will be talking about updates. So we are going to now talk about updates, updating location information, and so on. So at this point, I'm going to come, come to H2 console. I'm going to run it. Still coming up. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to run it. It will ask for reconnection. I'm going to reconnect. I'm going to talk about run posts and go here and then insert a new post. And post four, kind on the genius, rerun it, and that is fine. So I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button, and talk to me by leaving me a comment below in the comment box. So we see in the next part.